What's going on YouTube and TikTok? Got up on defense here, back in the video today. In this video, I'll be showing you guys what I think are the best value layup packages in NBA 2K25. But before getting to that, you need to turn that sub button. There are 2,000 subscribers, you'll be like, comment as well. And yeah, let's get into the video. So, I'm gonna start off with the bigs. Now, this is a pretty much no-brainer for me. Uh, Zion Williamson with only a 70 driving layup. And 70 on a big is a decent amount of attribute points to have as a cost, but 70 is so much better than that 55 you'd get if you have like a 90 standing dunk. It's Zion's layup package is so much better than default big. You get better scoops, you get better euros, better spins. They're not as slow. And obviously, I think the best one overall is probably Giannis if you're able to get the 80 layup. But again, on a big 80 is quite expensive. That's why I say Zion at a 70 is the best value because it's pretty similar to Giannis in my opinion. And he's also got a lot of the dominant big layup package uh, animations, if you guys remember that. And Giannis is basically a long athlete. So as far as the wings, default smaller swing are the best value to me because they don't cost that much. And a lot of the wing layups... A pretty spinny, like 87 for LeBron. Uh, as far as the guards, I went with Trey Young, only an 80 layup. And since your ball handle is probably 92 or 93, if you're a smaller guard, then Trey Young is pretty easy to get because I have my build with 93 ball handle, I have a 78 automatically. So why not just throw two in there and have the same floater animation, some nice scoops? Like Trey Young has pretty much got some of the best scoops in the game, too, and the same floater every single time. And like I said with LeBron, 87 layup is quite spendy. But obviously, if you do have it in your build, Definitely equip it if you can. And Jimmy Butler is also very nice at an 84. But I think overall for the wings, default smaller swing are both really good. And if, if you don't even want to go with Trang on a point guard, you can definitely use default small. It also has some nice scoops. Just Trang has the advantage of actually getting the same floater every time if you know how to use them. Obviously, floaters aren't as good as last year either. But still nice to have the same animation you know what you're going to get. Because that's always kind of the thing in 2K, getting the random generation. You never know what's going to... 2K is going to try to screw you over. So it's always nice to kind of have that thought in your mind that you know what you're going to get. But yeah... Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.